Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, as much requested <laughs> to do the uh, new new wah, uh super build. So uh, before I get into everything, I don't think any of her abilities have changed from public test server to now. I uh, know she can also be patched up next week. Like this, like stuff stuff here is still not final, but I guess it'll only be like point wise. But it shouldn't really make that big of a difference. Uh, something I just noticed. I don't know if this was still on the public test server. Or not, but I just noticed that her ulti is 110 second long cooldown. I think that's the longest cooldown in Smite history. I could be wrong, but I think that's the longest. Uh, so fair to say you may need some cooldown reduction. So if you're wondering why I have boots on my bottom right, uh, let's go ahead and buy boots. Okay, so um, I, I guess you could go about building her in, in a couple different ways, I suppose. You can you can probably go like a little bit more attack speed oriented, or you can just build like more typical, just power mage. Uh, it, I guess it's kind of up to your own personal preference and what game mode, maybe what game mode you, you're playing. Like maybe if you're playing assault, you won't need that much attack speed because it's like everybody's like st having a stare down, and then all hell breaks loose, and then just stare down. But uh, let's go ahead and go into the build. Uh, so, like I said before, uh, with that 110 second cooldown, and I mean, her, her other abilities, this is, of course, with cooldown boots are, aren't that bad, but uh, whatever. It's gonna go, I, I kind of like going cooldown boots for pretty much all my mages. I mean, that's just a personal preference for me, but if you find out she's a magic working out better for you, uh, go for that. Uh, as, as far as my lifestyle item, I personally always get a lifestyle item on all, all my mages. It's kind of typical, but I pick up Bancroft's Town. Um, if you're finding more of, you know, healers and health regeneration gods, as always, maybe, just maybe, I want to pick up some Divine Ruin. Uh, moving along, this is, this is, uh, one of those optional things. Uh, I probably will still get this on my own personal use, because I kind of like using the basic text with new wall, uh, and still with this new, new wall. So, this demonic grip's gonna give you a little bit more, uh, basically penetration with her passive. Another 25% attack speed, so, uh, without demonic grip, we sit out... We set at about 1.34 attack speed, and then you pick up Demonic Grip. It goes up, it goes up to like 1.6, so I mean, it's fairly nice to get use of that pass. I mean, that's a pretty comfortable attack speed there. Nothing too crazy, uh, but you can easily get your passive going and just rooting people all day. And of course, the magical power along with Demonic Grip. Now, if you don't if you don't want Demonic Grip, and you're not too much the basic attack uh, type person, you may find some of the things may be useful. Maybe you want more cooldown, and, and also to complement, you know, fighting against a lot of physical gods, you may want uh, Breastplate of Valor. Like, I picked this up on my kind of squishy gods. Like, Newa doesn't have that much real escapes. I guess you can call her one sort of an escape, but for some ages that are really squishy, whatever, I always pick a Breastplate of Valor. I like to stack up the Cooldown reductions for one, and then the physical protection is really nice on Breastplate of Valor, so uh, maybe it's something you may be interested in, too. Uh, maybe you're in Conquest and you're laning against another mage, um, like Void Stone's not that bad. If you want a little extra protection if you're laning against another mage, like in the mid lane or in the solo lane, that's not too bad there. Uh, it's really up to you and moving along. Uh, Spear of Magus. Since she's more of like a combination of her abilities, she's not like just she's not like a direct poke with one ability type god. She's like kind of combo. Uh, Spear of Magus, you can get some, you can get that passive go on on your enemies really easily. Uh, from like if you just get in, into somebody's face, use your one, drop you two, uh, detonate it with your with your three. And that's a good combination of ability, just a huge burst damage right there. So that's going to quickly add up the Spear of Magus stacks, and therefore you're going to lower their magical protection by hell of a lot with the Spear of Magus. Uh, so I'd pick that up. Next, uh, Rod to Hootie. As obvious reasons, high magical power, MP5 for this uh, sustain. Now, uh, I've been picking up Soul Reaver. It's my own little personal thing. I start picking up Soul Reaver for most of my mages now. Um, so somebody cleared, it, somebody cleared it up for me in the, in the comment section. That Soul Reaver only targets the um, the one with the, the, the greatest HP. As it says right there in the passive, I did not read that because I am stupid. So if multiple gods are hit, the damage is applied to the one th with the greatest maximum HP. So I don't know why I didn't read that before, but I feel pretty dumb. But So uh, to answer, if Soul Reaver will hit everybody with New Walls ulti, it only hits the one with the greatest HP. So, uh, I mean, it's still pretty nice. Um, I mean, if you don't like it, you could pick up other things as well. 
Uh, like I mentioned before, some of those other items are pretty good, but I like this. So, uh, and all in all, with this build, we have a lot of magical power. As you can see, we have about 600 magical power. Uh, attack speed sitting at 1.6. Um, defense wise, not too bad. So these are just the basic attacks of flat uh, 600 rate. Use our three, hit about 600. Now I'm not going to pick that red buff up because I don't want to mess up our stats. I'm going to go uh, quickly over to Rawbot over here. Just uh, slithering around. <clears throat> so I want to know something. Uh, how are you guys liking the new wall? Since everybody can play it now, like are you having troubles fighting its new wall, or do you like this one over the old one? Let me know what you guys think. If you like this one or the old one. So let's go ahead and come. I totally missed my three. I feel stupid. So let's <laughs> let's um uh, see if we can get back up and lay my three. It's like five nineteen there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, let's go ahead and actually use our ulti now. He gets back up. His ulti. What? Okay, uh, apparently <laughs> Raba is immune to New Wall's ulti. Alright. Uh, but that's, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the video. Let me know if you guys, uh, you know, like this build or whatever, or what items you recommend, actually. Uh, if you have your own personal preference, let me know in the comment section below. Like, what do you find useful for your new wall, your play style? How do you like this new wall compared to the old one? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>